Hey everybody, this is Brent, and I'm playing Skaventide today. So first I'm going to start off with the General, who is the Arch Warlock, as his command trait is going to be taking Overseer of Destruction, and he gets to take a spell from the lore of Warp Volt Galvanism, which is basically the coolest name of a lore in the game. He's going to be taking Chain Warp Lightning. Now I also have a Claw Lord, who's not the General, but because he's a total phony, he also gets a command trait, just for being a Claw Lord, so he's going to take Brutal Fury. I also have a Deathmaster, who has the artifact the Farskitter Cloak. I have two units of 20 Clan Rats. They all have Claw Leaders, Clan Rat Standard Bearers, Clan Rat Bell Ringers. One unit has Rusty Spears, and the other is armed with Rusty Blades. I have 20 Storm Vermin with a Fang Leader, Storm Vermin Standard Bearer, and a Storm Vermin Drummer. Two Rattling Guns, four Rat Ogres with two Warp Fire Guns, and then a unit of three Storm Fiends. They are armed with a Warp Fire Projector, Grinder Fists, and... Doomflare Gauntlets. So all this together is going to be 1,500 points exactly. Hey everyone, Doug here, and I am showing off, or debuting, my Celestial Vindicators here on the channel for the first time. Leading the charge, we have a uh, Lord Arcanum on Griff Charger. He's going to be my general. A Lord Relictor. Everblaze Comet is the end of the spell I'm bringing. We have five Evocators, five Judicators, two units of ten Sequiturs, and uh, two Celestar Ballistas. Now, I am taking the Celestial Vindicators like Storm Host, and what that means is that um, when I charge that turn, I get reroll hit rolls of one. I also have a command ability where I can spend a command point, pick a unit in the combat phase, and they get plus one to all of their melee attacks, as well as an artifact that uh, basically makes him go Super Saiyan. And that is going to be the Storm Rage Blade, where I can elect to, at the start of the combat phase, gain two attacks to his weapon, at the cost of minus one to his save. And for the command trait, um, hit rolls of six unmodified uh, become two hits, uh, sorry, become two damage rather than one. Or it adds one to the damage characteristic here, clarify that. As far as spells go, um, his prayer is going to be translocate because it's easy to remember. And um, the Lord Arcanum is going to bring a storm caller. Uh, which we'll get into if it goes off, because it's a pretty high casting value. And that is 1,480 points of Stormcast Eternals. So we're going to be playing a scenario from the Forbidden Power Book. This is called Sorcerer's Streams. Uh, it's pretty basic. We just have six objectives set up, but the uh, big kicker here is that at the start of each battle round after the first, the player taking the second turn in that battle round can pick one of the objectives and remove it from the battlefield. So we've represented, I guess, these sorcerer streams as these pillars that are just going to disappear in a ghostly mist and no longer provide victory points. So uh, if, if we've talked a lot about <laughs> uh, incentivizing, you know, do you really want to take that double turn? Well, in this scenario, it's probably going to come up a bit more because we're going to make objectives disappear. <laughs> So at the start of the battle, I need to roll for how many Warpstone Sparks I get. It's D3 plus 3. So I'm going to go ahead and get 5 Warpstone Sparks for this game. We've finished deployments. We're going to go over the battlefield here. We've brought out the Old Hill of Skulls, which is an arcane piece of terrain. I put a knot hole next to it. Uh, so yeah, each one of these pillars is going to be our objectives for this game that are disappearing when somebody gets to go second in a battle round, they get to just make one of them go away. Uh, we've got some mystical terrain over here. I've got most of my army around this knot hole and this mystical hill as well. Over here, what is this? This is sinister. That looks pretty uh, cheery and green to me, but maybe there's something hiding. Over here, we have more sinister terrain. Another knot hole. In Doug's deployment zone here, 10 sequidors next to the inspiring. This is actually, I mean, when we were setting up, Doug said he liked this piece of terrain most, so it makes sense that his army finds it inspiring. Here's some deadly terrain next to the Lord Relictor and his evocators, and then his, your general's Lord Arcanum, right? Yes, it is. Cool. And then over here, uh, there's some damn terrain back next to the Nahal. So that is going to be the whole board, but... Uh, a lot of units are missing here. I've got my Storm Fiends hidden underground. I've got my Death Master hidden in one of my units of at least five models with uh, one wound. And then Doug has both Ballistas, the Judicators, and more Sequidors all in the sky. Yep, yep. 
Well, uh, Doug also set up first, so you get to decide. Do you want to take the first or second battle or turn? First. You're going to go first. Great. Well, we're going to go to Stormcast, turn one. Kicking off Stormcast, turn one. Uh, he's going to try the Everblaze Comet. Need a seven. I uh, get it. So this is a six on my Malign Portent dice. And that's a five. Do you have anything in range here? 30 inches. Uh, Arch Warlock's over here. Yeah, no. Just out. You do not. So... <laughs> Are you saying you don't think I could have rolled a 12? <laughs> <laughs> so you were in 36. So let me measure some stuff out. I'll come back with that. So I decided to drop the comet right here to kind of disincentivize him from going for it <laughs> later on. Um, and also strike most of my entire Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and so uh, we did the math, and um, every unit except for the storm vermin over there is affected by how this works is you roll a d3 for all those units. On a one, it's one mortal wound. On a two, it's d3 mortal wounds. And on a three of that d3, it's d6 mortal wounds. So we'll go this side over. So those uh, clan rats over here, they are getting uh, just one mortal wound to them. <laughs> the claw lord is gonna be two, so this is a d3, d3. mortal wound. Mm-hmm. For two. Ouch. The weapons team is gonna be a d3. For one. It's still alive. It's still alive. Yeah. The, um, or, uh, was it the? Arch War. Arch War Lock, yeah. Takes, uh, D6 Mortal Ooh. Wounds. Ooh. For three. Oh, he's still alive. That's scary. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rat Ogres will take one Mortal Wound. And, uh. Clan Rats. Right. Take D6. D6. Six. 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 <laughs> Six Clan Rats. Excellent. <laughs> And then how about this uh, rattling gun here? Oh, yeah, that is going to be D3 mortal wounds for uh, one. Well, no unit was wiped out, but yeah, that's uh, <laughs> a, a nice peppering of mortal wounds across yeah. pretty much everybody. Ouch! So next, the evocators are going to do speed of lightning on themselves, which is something I forgot to mention earlier. And it goes off on five. Uh, they totally got it. So they can re-roll failed charge rolls this round. And next to them, he is going to try to translocate the Lord Relictor. And a three up goes off. So I'm going to pick them up and move them just outside nine inches. And the Evocators landed right here. I figure I could at least pull away the only unit that I didn't hurt this round. Yeah, they're <laughs> laughing at like the whole rest of the yeah. army who's getting blown away by a comet. You guys are losers. Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> so kicking off the movement phase, this guy is going to move... Uh, he's got 12 inches. He's just going to hop right here to claim that objective. Nice. Lord Relictor. He's going to run. <laughs> Actually, we're going to move the sequiturs first. They're going to run. Going a mighty 11 inches. And he's going to end up somewhere right around there. And we'll just pile the rest back here. And that ends the sequiturs. Lord Relictor is going to run. He's going to go try and catch up. <laughs> he's right a little back. slower. He's, yeah, he's a little nice. slower. And at the end of my movement phase, we're going to start dropping some stuff from the sky. There's like just the fluorescent light right above yeah. you. <laughs> Sigmar. So here in Rerolling Ones, as a guest, I try my best to lose as many friends as possible. So what I ended up doing after the comet went down was dropped a ballista here, 10 sequiturs, just to give him something to charge and be threatening. Uh, there is a guy within six, so I do claim that. Uh, I have my other ballista here. And the Judicators and everything else was as it is. Yeah, so. he dropped down, took every objective, but at least on the bright side, yes, 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 yes. at least you'll lose one of these objectives. That's true. In turn two. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, uh, so that's going to conclude Stormcast movement. Yeah. Then I guess we'll move into shooting. Starting with the Judicators here, they're all just an 18 of these clan rats. So starting with the Prime hitting on a 2 up, good, turns into D6 hits. Or just one, that's all right. <laughs> Everybody, One arrow uh, turned into one. One arrow! <laughs> uh, the other four are hitting on threes. And re-rolling ones because I'm chaos. That is true. Yeah, yeah. All right, so they all hit. Here's the one from the boss man. All wounding on threes as well. That is all of them. Oh, cool. smokes. Well, uh, well, yeah. I'll, I'll, and uh, yeah. minus one. Minus one, so uh, they should be getting a six-up save here. Four, four clan rats are dead. No! Next, the ballista is going to shoot the exact same target with rapid fire. So these are going to be hitting on fives. Not a single oh. one. Sad day. 
Second ballista is going to try and not be a disappointment. He's going to shoot these clan rats <laughs> rapid fire as well. Fives. I get two. Yeah. Turn into 2d6 hits. <laughs> For 10, that Considerably means, uh, <laughs> less disappointing. Yeah, I don't know if there's a, there's a competition going between these two dis, uh, ballistas, but... <laughs> these guys just won. Uh, wounding on, I believe it's threes. Yeah. And, oh, it's a lot of ones and twos, Ooh. but that's going to be... Still five, right? Five and a minus two. Oh, it's going to pierce through their super thick armor. <laughs> that's right, yeah. Um, I still have one. Well, yeah, I want to make sure I have a banner, but... There goes five clan rats. Oh. All right. Moving straight into the charge phase, evocators here. They have speed of lightning, and if you've ever seen Mighty Mouse, speed of lightning, <laughs> roll of thunder. And you get to reroll charge roll. So you need a nine. Seeing that, you can't fail. Whoa, what? Okay. Okay, well, okay. Well, you, you get to reroll. But I needed to use the speed of lightning. Oh. And they're just chilling. Oh, well. Um, we can try a long bomb with yeah, the circuiters yeah, over there. Mm -hmm. Roll right here. Um, well, nice. they gotta be oh, nine, nine away, right? right? Yeah, so. so that's a big no. no. So that will conclude my turn, I believe. No combat. Sure, well, let's do some uh, battle shock. I don't have a command point yet, so I've lost one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven clan rats. So I don't even have the plus one bravery. So what their bravery four? Uh, so then my eleven plus two. That then 13. is 13, escape and lucky number. Uh, I'm going to lose nine, nine which is, uh, oh. You have one guy left. I have, right. well, wait, I should have only had 20. Did I kind of move these around incorrectly? Uh, yeah, I guess I had an extra over here. So this is where some confusion was before. I was like, wait, I think I'm missing a guy over there. So this clan rat's supposed to be over there. And these clan rats are all gone. <laughs> there we go. Uh, that's that's a very scaven thing to do. They they run away like cowards. Now this unit uh, still gets plus two bravery since they have at least ten because of the scaven title allegiance ability, strength and numbers. But they've lost five, so they are currently bravery six. Uh, ooh, that's not what I wanted to roll. So that's going to be an eleven minus six. I'm going to lose five more clan rats to battle shock here. And take him too. Oh. But other than that, we're 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 okay. We <laughs> we survived the storm. We're all fine. How are we're you? All fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, and then you're gonna score all six points here. You got uh, somebody within all of the objectives. Six inches of everyone. You Brutal. Way to go. Uh, six points. So then it's going to move into Skaven Tide turn one. Start of the Skaven Tide hero phase. The Arch Warlock is going to consume a Warpstone Spark, which is important because this thing, that's going to give me rerolls uh, for dispelling, uh, unbinding, and casting. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess not unbinding, but uh, until the, um, the end of that hero phase. Yeah. So I'm going to start with trying to use one of my two spells to dispel the Everblaze Comet. It's casting value 6, so I'm going to need a 7. You roll greater than... So I don't need yeah, to I, I make the... Yeah. The comet disappears. <laughs> so now the rest of the hero phase, the Arch Warlock is going to use his remaining spell to cast Warp Lightning Storm. Yeah, yeah. So that is cast on a 7, but I can re-roll from the Warp Stone Spark, which is good. Because are you overpowering it? <laughs> oh, oh yeah, you get to... Yeah, yeah. I will overpower yeah. it. Yeah. Because it's important, because if I fail this, then I'm going to take damage. But oh, I get you it on not. a 10, however, you uh, you get to attempt an unbind, which if you do unbind it, <laughs> then I am going to take damage. Tell you what, I'm just going to roll these same two dice, yeah, so yeah. I need to roll an 11. Yep. No. Okay, so let me go ahead and see who I get to target. So that was going to be D3 units uh, within 13 inches, we're going to take D6 more wounds, which is only the sequitur. So oh. just going to be D6 more wounds. For four, which Ooh, I would gladly take. Yeah. Kills what this guy, and we'll say this guy. So now that's the end of the hero phase. Since I consumed a warpstone spark on a one, I'm going to take d3 mortal wounds. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do no, it. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm okay. So as I'm moving away from the mystical train, that's when I'm recognizing. Oh man, I could have used that against the, the comet, but uh, that's my mistake here. I'm going to start moving the rattling gun. It's going to oh and you know he can he can cap an objective too yeah yeah unless he explodes which might happen <laughs> um, over here uh, this rattling gun is is okay the 
the Arch Warlock, he's just going to stay here. I'm going to actually try and make, well, you know, I will actually move because if I could get that D6 Mortal Wound spell next turn on that Ballista, that would make me very happy. So. Oh, yeah. And I need these to all be wholly within 13. They will be. That is okay. Mm-hmm. Over here, this is a tough choice for me because these guys are juicy, but <laughs> there's basically no way I was going to get National on their bones, so I think I just need to ignore them for the moment and try and uh, make an epic charge here, just falling into Doug's trap of what do I want to do with my life? No good decisions. No good decisions. Age of Sigmar. <laughs> Millennial power. <laughs> And that's also going to scoot up here. Yep, yep. And also the Warlord. Why not? He's going to move. Boom. Hit six. And hopefully we can get somebody out of the way when we get to charges. Now the end of the movement phase. I do have a wizard close enough to the knot hole. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to suck these rat ogres up. <sighs> and I'm going to set them up more than nine away <laughs> from Birdman. Bird person is not scared. <laughs> so the Skaven Tide shooting phase at the start, the Warlock Engineer is going, or the Arch Warlock is going to consume another Warpstone Spark. Uh, or sorry, first I'm using Overseer of Destruction. That's mm -hmm. the start of the hero phase. So two, uh, up to three weapon teams wholly within 13 inches can reroll failed hit rolls. So that's yeah. both of these rattling guns. Then he's consuming the Warpstone Spark, which will give me uh, rerolls to hit on up to three Clan Scryer units, so we're going to go with both of these two. Okay. So starting with Rattling Gun number one. It's going to shoot at the uh, Sequidors, so it is going to be using more more Warp Lead. So I'm going to roll 2d6, and I'm going to double the result. <laughs> However, if the result of the two dice is a double, uh, then after it has resolved all of its attacks, it's going to explode and die. All right. So here we go. So it is not going to explode oh and die, and it is going to get 18 shots. Yes. So let Skaven Madness begin. For all those people who saw my first turn and thought, man, Doug's a jerk. <laughs> I'm a jerk back. Hold. <laughs> Hold. <right. laughs> so here's 18 shots. Uh, rerolling. Right? Yeah, rerolling. So hit on fours, wound on fours, and they're two damage now because oh, of this, this business. So first hitting on fours. Uh, I'm going to grab... That was not a bad roll. Yeah, yeah. And now hit. So rerolls. Well, okay, I got a couple more, which yeah, is yeah. fine. So now these are wounding on fours with a negative one rend. But each one of these sectors are two wounds, right? Yep. Yeah. They have a uh, four up, you're rolling one. So Very nice. So hmm, there is uh, five wounds, negative one rend. All right, let me grab some dice here. Come on. Rend. All right, so we have five saves. Um, you said minus one? Yep. So I have five up, rerolling ones. Here's Ooh, a whole <laughs> heap and ton of ones. Oh, okay, no I saved one. ones. That is two more dead dudes. So, so we have two damage each. Oh, that's right. Yeah, so that's, so that's four. Four. Right. Oh, one, uh, two, three, and four. Ooh. Okay, uh, rally gun number two. Uh, gonna have to do the same thing since there are still people here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, roll that. Okay, so there's 20 <laughs> shots, and not going to explode. Uh, grab these real quick. Same thing. Fours and fours, re-rolling hits. That's why people don't like Skaven, everybody. Uh, <laughs> and good rolls, too, right? Okay. Uh, your hits is re-roll? Okay. Yep. Yeah, re oh my gosh, setting. yeah, your re-rolls are sad. <laughs> why do I even take that? Yeah, oops. Uh, now, so these are fours to wound. Take those away. So now we've got seven wounds. All right, let me grab two more dice here. Again, five ups, are so rolling ones. That's a little better. Sorry for the glare on the camera, everybody. Oh, man. Oh! Uh, so only fail one what? on this. <laughs> so one. Wow. Um, we'll one, take. One more. Front guy here. Now he's got my great maces left. Holy smokes! Woo. That was awesome. You feel good? It feels good, but it's right. also cool. You made a lot of saves back. <laughs> like this only works once. Exactly. Yeah.
Two Rat Ogres have Warp Fire Guns with a respectable 16-inch range, but they only hit on fives. They do D3 damage, though. So I'm going to shoot at Mr. <laughs> Lord Arcanum. Do I get any fives? No, I don't. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Now the end of the Skaven Tide shooting phase for eating that warp stone spark mm-hmm. and for all dice on a one I'm going to take D3 mortal wounds. Do it, 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 digestive system? Uh, he, is. he drinks his kombucha. That's right. He blends it. He cuts it with Pepto. Warp kombucha. <laughs> and now the Skaven Tide charge phase. I'm going to start with the Storm Vermin. Mm-hmm. And I oh. will take oh. an, an 11-inch charge. You go to Bermuda with that. Holy like, smokes. That, that's, that's enough to charge adjudicators. Yes, it is. Which, uh, Tie them all I in. will for sure do that. It's weird. It's like they were way over there a second ago. <laughs> <laughs> Come back when that's done. So that's how it ended up. Mm. Uh, these guys. Clan, well, yeah, Clan Rats are going to go for the next charge. <laughs> um... That is a sad day charge. Yeah, so here's what's tough. I, I, I could go for the re-roll, because Doug pointed out, you know, if, if it's, it's possible... You don't need to kill many to have more Storm Vermin That's true. here, so this right. Storm Vermin can claim this objective. Or this one, and I would like to get two, yeah. so I'm actually going to go for the re-roll right away. Let's just... Do it, do it, do it. Uh, let's get these... <laughs> oh, sad. They are determined to go three inches. Let's see if the warlord can do better. He can kind of yeah, yeah. move around. You rolled here. an eleven before. Uh, I don't know if seven is enough. No, it's not going to be enough because no, I'm going to have to move quite. around yeah. and I'm going to wind up like right here. Uh, but storm vermin, they know how to charge. So yeah, that's um, that's going to be. Oh, and I've got these guys over here. Yeah, I know. Yeah, can I make a nine? They can make it. Holy smokes. <laughs> Here. This they guy can. is just watching those sequiturs evaporate. He's like, man, I'm really glad I'm safe back here. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> WT what? <laughs> so at the start of the combat phase, I have to elect um, with my sequiturs and with that. They're irrelevant because they're not in combat. But him, he can choose whether or not to use his artifact, which gives him plus two attack in exchange for us... Um, Armor save. I'm not going to do that. So he's going to have a three up save. So Brent, go ahead and strike. Pile me. in with rat ogres. Going to see if I can get. I think I can get a third rat ogre in here. Yeah, so yeah he certainly can. In three, and then he will move up his three. And then this guy, the Ooh. wounded rat ogre, will just cheer on his buddies. So <laughs> you guys are doing great. Keep it up. <laughs> Way to go, team. Uh, all their attacks. They've got four attacks each, yep. and sixes do two hits. <gasps> so they're hitting on fours with their claws, fangs, talons, and... Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, so first let's get rid of the misses here, and so then that's an extra four hits from yep. those sixes. Yep, all those sixes. So we'll just add those. Yep, yep. And now we'll roll to wound on threes here. Uh, okay. Well, there's eight at negative one rand. I'm just going to roll these, yeah, actually. Yeah. And so now I have a four up. Oh. Uh, one, two, two three, each. four. Bob, oh, he's dead. Oh. Super dead. <laughs> Boof. Oh. In response, the adjudicators are like, you know what? We're a melee group now. Boom. <laughs> and they're going to attack. Now wait for this. It's going to blow your mind already. We got threes to hit. We get fours to wound. Look at that. Take two saves, if you Ooh. dare. Ooh. <laughs> two saves. Uh, Storm Vermin, they've got four up saves here. Hey, you're still going to kill uh, two of them. We're going to take these these guys in the back here. Whoa! That is respectable. Storm Vermin have piled in. Uh, first, I'm going to be... I have ten Storm Vermin that have to uh, attack the dun, dun, dun. ballista. Um, now... I lost these two guys. I'm not getting plus one to hit anymore for overwhelming mass. So just Crippled. getting on fours here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh. They're moving. Yeah. This is. Yeah. This thing, <laughs> this thing is just soaking up. <laughs> Wounding on threes though. Can they? Can they? Oh, that's that. Oh my that. gosh. Yeah. Well, uh, negative one. So okay. what? It starts with a four up save. Uh, it does. Was that eight? Yeah, eight. Seven wounds? Can they tear it down? It's going to die right here. So I need verbs. Um, they cannot. No, but two, it's close. four, six. has one <laughs> wound remaining here, I believe. Right? They have seven yeah, wounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So he's Stands just... with a wound. Very nice. All right. And, and the then... rest of the Storm Vermin. Uh, that's eight more, plus the Claw Leader going into the Judicators. Do it, do it, do they it. They need fours to hit. 
remove my misses. <laughs> and they need threes to wound. And there's five with a negative one rent. Alright, and so that is going to be an adjudicator, so that means they have a five up. Uh, only save two of them, so that's three. Is that three wounds? Uh, yeah, three wounds. So. Okay. So one, two, and he has a wound on him. That makes three. Mm -hmm. Boop. There we are. Cool. All right, my MVP in melee combat, the ballista is going to roll up here. They've got one with a there. four to hit. Furious. With a four to wound, I believe. Yep, four oh, wounds. Take one wound. save, no rent. And a four up save. No, another, yes. <laughs> another storm vermin down. Ah! <laughs> that's uh, pretty good. So that's going to conclude combat phase. We have some battle shocks here. Yeah. I've lost three Storm Vermin here, so their base bravery, five. They have at least ten, so they're going up to seven. Uh, so they're going to be okay. Okay. Uh, lost one Adjudicator. I think on a six one can go away. Now they're fine. Yeah, they're good. And the main event over there is the oh. I lost seven. Um, ooh, so there's Eight. one guy. Very nice. Seven in the unit, seven bravery. Uh, and these... Uh, these 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 two guys are left to oh, them. are definitely threatening to <laughs> all three of these wounded single units. Uh, and let me just yeah, so we're in our bravery five. Okay, so that is going to conclude my turn. I can only capture one objective, even if I'm within range of both. So I guess I'm gonna pick that one since potentially these. If I go next turn, I could go after this. But if I do go next, then that means Doug is going to be throwing away one of the objectives. But sure. Uh, so we can confirm I do have more Storm Vermin within six inches here. Oh, you certainly do. Yeah, we chose a little bit of a fatter one. So I'm oh, sure, sure. Four, you have at least five. Yeah. Okay, great. So I'll take this objective for one point. I'll take this objective for two points. And I will take that objective for three points. So yeah, Doug's still crushing me with six to three. But... Blew away, half my arm. blew away half of his dudes. So, <laughs> dang, that was a turn one. It's time now for robot dice roll off. Just kidding. I don't know where the robot dice are. I'm sorry. So it's time for plain wooden ye old <laughs> dice roll off. Uh, but Doug's breaking ties here. You be a two. Uh, a five. Ooh. You get to choose. So hmm. this is important. Mm -hmm. You can either go first. But doing so, let's me choose which objective gets annihilated this round. Mm -hmm. Again, to be important with the rules, you don't have to own it to burn it like in Scorched Earth. I just get to choose an objective and it goes away. Doug's hand literally comes out of the sky <laughs> and, uh, you know... Sigmar himself. I am, I'm going to let you do that. I'm going to take the next turn, but now you get to... Sack an objective. I'm gonna take this one. That is a good idea. <laughs> and I'm, I'm now I'm having to picture this as like anything else. Like if, if that the that column just disappeared into yeah. the mist, they probably are more unaware that that was <laughs> of significance. Yeah, no, yeah. They just wanted to eat a giant bird. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, but that's that's appropriate. So now we're moving to Skaven Tide, uh, turn two. Skaven Tide, turn two. Starting the hero phase off, the Arch Warlock is going to eat a Warpstone Spark. So I'm going to re-roll my uh, casting rolls okay. this turn. But at the end, I'm going to have to roll dice and see if I take damage. Yeah. So first I'm going to use Chain Warp Lightning, the spell that can't kill me. It's only cast on a six, <laughs> and I'm getting plus one because the Gnawhole counts as Arcane. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I've got re-rolls here, so I do cast that, okay. and, and nobody can unbind me. Nope, I have no one left. You killed my... Okay, Arcanum. so um, it is for D6 units. Okay, so I will do one mortal wound to the Sequidors and the uh, Cellstar Ballista. All right. Now I will use the spell that can kill me, Warp Lightning Storm, which I will pump this up to the version that yeah. does D6 mortal wounds instead of D3. So that is cast on a 7, again, with the plus 1. Get okay, it. so I'll get that on an 8. So D6 mortal wounds here. You just need three. Oh. <laughs> oh. So one guy is Boop. left with a wound. Yep. Uh, and... You need a six to kill him outright. A six to kill him outright. No. Didn't get either of them, but put some damage out. Now I need to see... Do I... Do it, do, do it, I, do it, do it, do it. Oh! <laughs> okay, it's D3 more wounds. I've got three wounds left. Uh, on a five or a six, I step 
do back it. into the knot hole on do accident. It, do it, do it, and do it. And oh, I have a wound left. What a turd. <laughs> one left. Um, and so what? So there's a wound left here and uh, two wounds left here, yep. correct? Okay. So that will conclude the hero phase. Jump it into here. Uh, movement phase. Movement phase. All right. So I'm going to uh, move the warlord. I have to stay more than three away. I don't want to be next to this objective. Yeah, yeah. Maybe he'll make a charge. Maybe not. The clan rats, you know, I just want to try and hold here for as long as possible because uh, I, I, I don't really think that this is the best unit to... You mean that one galling gun crew with like a wound left on yeah, it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They're, they're not super reliable as far as keeping this here. Um, okay, so now uh, he's got one wound left. His spell casting capabilities are kind of... Not awesome. So the, the range on a rattling gun is, is 12. I mean, they're awesome if you like to live fast and die young. <laughs> and <laughs> next turn, I'm quite certain that I will probably do that. But I want to move a little bit in a way that uh, I... Yeah, one of these rattling guns is going to have to... You know, maybe he should just charge and <laughs> find this Yes, guy. this guy's oh. just like... <laughs> yeah, we'll... we'll uh, I'm really oh. glad I brought my nine meat shields so I can get him with my hammer. <laughs> okay, I moved the rally gun here. I've moved the arch warlock over here. These guys uh, definitely forgot what they were supposed to be doing over here. So mm. let's move them and see if they can't just make another epic charge and uh, and save me yeah, from yeah. any of my poor decision making. <laughs> um, and you know that over here, uh, can I get within eighteen? I. Could could if I shoot with this one first. Um, so let's do that. I'm going to move up six. So then I've at least got some flexibility. I could shoot over here if I need to, or my 12 inch, uh, is that right? Yeah, my 12 inch range. I could pump potentially two rattling guns into there. So that oh will conclude gosh. the Skaven Tide movement phase. Um, do you want to bring anything out of the tunnels? Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and some fierce-looking storm fiends just popped up in the back line. And also note that Doug is a real champion, and I keep forgetting about these. It uh, happens. So, <laughs> thanks, Doug. Yeah, yeah. So now we're into Skaven Tide shooting. Once again, Overseer of Destruction. Both of these rattling guns are going to be plus one damage. Nice. I'm going to eat a Warpstone Spark. I am tempting fate here because I want to give them rerolls. But I, I want to say that that's, that's worth it. So, rattling gun number one. Let's just shoot into this big old unit of mm -hmm. seconds. I am using more and more warp lead, so I am doubling this roll, but if it is doubles, I am dead after I shoot. So Five and three? No. Nope. I'm okay. So that's 16. 16 shots. Let me go ahead and grab that up real quick. Okay. And here we go. Alrighty. Hitting on fours with three rolls. Hmm. Mm -hmm. That looks mm -hmm. average. Mm -hmm. That looks average. But the rerolls weren't super. They weren't kilo. Oh, so, uh, can they do better? Yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna also, we're okay then. I'm going to awkwardly lean over this tree right here. Beautiful terrain. <laughs> Be the terrain you want to see on the board. Exactly. Um, and then wounding on fours. So that's seven. Now I got this last time and you just saved it all. So. Yeah. So we're looking for, is it five ups because you have a minus one? Yep. Five ups, you're wrong ones. Here's a one. Nice. Okay, so I saved four three. Going All right, so that is four dead sequiturs. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay. What else you got? Uh, the next one. Doing the same thing. Going for that unit. Oops. Uh, two, 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 two. Oh. oh same thing. Uh, Sixteen again. And. Fours and fours with rerolls to hit. Okay. Oof. Oh. Uh, rerolls? <laughs> okay. And then fours to wound. I mean, if, if anything tells us about the laws of the universe, that this. No. There is no law. <laughs> there is no there law. There is only There's carnage. There is only destruction. <laughs> uh, that's eight. Yeah. Three, six, eight. Okay, here we go. Same deal, uh, five up, re-rolling ones. Oh, nice. Uh, and I saved all but, looks like three? Yeah. So that's Dang. three more sequiturs. One, two, and 
Oh, it's all my great hammers. Oh. Uh, this guy, he's allowed me out. Alrighty. But now the, oh, well, actually, I've got these two shots, too. Uh, they will go after, uh, the ballistic gets a bonus in shooting, or is it just bonus in cover for, to its save? Uh, I believe it's in cover. Okay. Well, I'm going to go for the ballista. These both hit on fives. I got one hit. It wounds on a three with the warp fire gun. It wounds, and it's a negative one ren. D3 damage. Okay, five up. Nope. Ooh, D3 damage. Can I pop the ballista? It's got two wounds left? Yep. Oh, oh. it lives with a wound. And yes. now, the moment you've all been waiting for. On a one, I'm dead. I've got one wound left. There is no way. Eat that warp stone spark. Oh, uh, sorry, I hit your model. No, it's all good. I'm still, I'm still alive with one warp stone spark. <sighs> Start with the warlord in the charge phase. Or claw lord, excuse me. Uh, a nine, oh, so he can, you know, he can move around. And Boom. Make sure, yeah, he's, he's, he's in six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Objective. However, he, uh, Lost two wounds, so hopefully he doesn't get killed by crewmen or something. <laughs> now rat ogres, they were they were great last time. Can they do something similar? Oh, or my better? Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> this is, what is what is with this unit? Um, I'm going to try and position this in a way that is. Man, funny. Stormcast really need a buff nowadays. Am I am I like, right? Yeah, like, <laughs> clan clan molder is. Uh, is Oh. Just tank your subscribers by saying stuff like right. that. <laughs> Gotta go here. Yep. But, uh, and those, that's an inch right there. You're fine. All right. Okay. So, uh, oh, this guy's not. So let me back him up. I'm sorry. Okay. So now, yeah, they're, they're within. All, All right. 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 Inch. Yeah. Hey, you're good. Hey, edit this into the charge phase. <laughs> uh, Storm fiends. They, they want to. <laughs> yeah. Get up in there. <laughs> I want to go nine, two. Uh, here they come. Oops. Just coming at that little priest guy like Fat Albert. <laughs> Storm vermin are going to attack first. So I've got 20 attacks on the Cell Star Ballista. Need fours to hit with their rusty halberds. <laughs> it's got a wound left. Can they do it? Uh, okay. That hits and wounds on a three. And six, eight, nine wounds. Negative one. Damage. Nine. Okay. So I need to make what is it? Nine five ups. Yep. <laughs> cool. Okay. No, that's a big no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> and the remaining storm vermin. That's seven more plus the uh, claw lord. They get to attack adjudicators. All right. Getting on fours. Respectable. Respectable. Yeah. And wounding on threes with the rusty halberds. Mm, only four. Negative one rent. Okay, I guess make four. Five ups. Uh, make, mm. Oh my gosh, that is the saddest roll ever. <laughs> okay, so this was on him before I piled in, so sure. he's dead, he's dead, and the wound goes passed on to him. Right on. Alrighty. So I'm pretty sure the Rat Ogres are going to kill everything on the other side. So we're just going to have <laughs> my Lord Relictor turn. And he's going to uh, use the command trait of the Celestial Vindicators on himself. So he gets plus one attack to his melee weapons. And um, so he's five attacks now with threes to hit. And threes to wound. All right, oh. take three at a minus one. Very nice. So our have got a four up save. So going up to five. Oh. One goes through. Just one damage. One damage. Probably. Uh, I will go ahead and put that on the uh, Warpfire Thrower. So we're doing Rad Ogres, and so we don't break coherency. He's not going to pile in anymore. So we have uh, one over here and two on the Ballista. Roll for it. All right. The one over here on the Secretors, hitting on fours with Claws and Fangs. No sixes generating extra hits. Thank goodness. Wounding on threes. One at a negative one rend. It's two damage. Mm. Negative one. you five up? Re ones. Oh, he oh! sticks the landing with a six. <laughs> Sequidors do not go down. Can these two routers take out the ballista? Okay, and you get two through. Fours. Okay, and uh, those are going to give me three extra hits, so I'm going to just take away one of the misses. Yep. Here's the extra hits. These wound on threes. And there's a negative one rend on that. How many? Five of them. Oh, my gosh. Uh, five five-ups. Uh, nope, well, two go through. Good, That's yeah. enough. Okay, the... 
The bullet <laughs> will be taken down, but if Jack was here, that's a stands alone moment if I've ever heard of one. Da, da, da. So the lone sequitur is going to do some uh, retaliation for watching all of his friends die <laughs> before he did anything. <laughs> Uh, he has the Great Mace, so it's two attacks, hitting on threes. Ooh, looks good. <laughs> Wounding on threes. Looks good. Take two saves at a minus one on the Radovers. That's a six up, which I make none. How much damage? Two damage each. Ooh. So he is <laughs> crushed. And I will put this one on uh, this one right here. And yes. yeah, that's uh Time for the Storm Fiends to fight the Lord Relictor. The Doomflare Gauntlet, I'm going to go uh, with them first. They get 2d3 attacks for 4. Mm-hmm. And they get plus 1 to hit because they charge. So they're hitting yeah. on through 2s. And they're wounding on 3s. So there's 2 at a negative 2 rend. Okay, and Lord Relictor? 3 up save. Yep, 5 up. Nope, failed 2d3 both. 2d3 damage. Uh, there is 3 so far. Okay. And now let's go with the uh, warp fire projector with the clubbing blows. These are fours and threes, four attacks, two hits, eating threes to wound, nothing. Yes. Uh, and now can the shot gauntlet or not the shot gauntlet? The uh, the grinder tip. fist. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Grinder fist. Can they finish the job? Four attacks, hitting on fours. Oop. And wounding on threes. There are three wounds at negative two rend, two damage. Oh my gosh. Fives. Uh, how much? Ooh, uh, just two. That's enough, though. You oh, got oh, three on the first one. Five. Yeah, oh, five wounds. Just barely. Gah. Bring him down. Judicators are going to win this whole battle for me. <laughs> got two attacks. Uh, they are going to be threes to hit. Both hit. Fours to wound. Take one at no rend. And a four up save. <laughs> Their shields are consistent. Consistently paper. Oh! <laughs> uh, knock out a, a storm vermin. So that's going to end combat. Battle shock. Uh, I will use my command point here uh, to use uh, inspiring presence. And I don't want those radovers to take a test. Their bravery is garbage, which means storm fiends have to uh, be strong for for the family. They're storm vermin, sorry. Uh, so they're normally, uh, so they're bravery seven right now. So I'm okay with yep. four. And then you have. Yep, and they here. are seven. I lost, I lost seven. Mm-hmm. So they're all gone. Okay, and they, they depart. And over here, this Ecuador, whoa, the earthquake. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> lost, uh, lost Necro one. Quick. <laughs> Necro- <laughs> lost one. Um, but they're bravery seven, so they're okay. Yep, yep. So the end of that turn here. Uh, I will go ahead and the Radogers unwittingly take another objective because they don't actually know what they're doing. So there's one. Here's two. Uh, here's three now that the Warlord has shown up. And here is four. So that's going to bring me up to seven to Doug six. And we're going to go ahead and go into Stormcast turn two. Okay, hero face. This is going to be really fast because most of my army's gone. <laughs> Evocators, they're going to do the speed of lightning on themselves again. Need a five. Oh, oh. oh, double one's not going to happen. Oh. That is okay though. Uh, I measured it out uh, between the move and the charge. I just need a nine on the charge. So, and we've seen enough of those today. That oh, yeah. <laughs> nine okay. to charge is definitely doable. Yeah, so we'll go straight from uh, there into the movement. And might as well. Sure, sure. So, bah. I'm going to just move the line up. Woo-hoo. And everyone else is in combat, so this is all the movement there is. Mm-hmm. It is also going to be the only charge that there is. Sure. Well, you want to shoot at the uh, storm for a minute. Oh, yeah, 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 you get to shoot in combat, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so Prime uh, hits on a 2, mm-hmm. turns into D6 for 2. two. <laughs> and the other guy wound, uh, hits on a 3. His arrow is evolving. Went from 1 exactly. to <laughs> <laughs> All of them are going to wound on 3s, so take 2 saves at a minus mm-hmm. 1. All right, so it's going to be 5 up saves on the storm vermin. And, uh, you know, I just don't know if they have shields or anything. So two more ah, are going to drop down. Sweet. So I mean, now... Guys, we measured it, and I uh, yeah. need a nine to get yeah, in yeah. there. Oh, oh, no, not this round. That is okay. So I'm going to kick off combat. Yeah, yeah. With... And that second war was pretty pretty awesome. Yeah, I'm going to actually start with him. Cause okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And this... Um, 
Now with second words, can you choose to get rerolls to save or hit? I can, yes. With the start yeah. of his combat phase. And empower, um, right? Yeah. I will go reroll for his hits because he's going to die. Yeah. So. so it's... Uh, or, or defeat three rat over here. Yeah. No, so um, threes to hit, re-rolling. Okay. Threes to wound. Okay, one, one. save at a minus uh, one. That's going to be a six up. Nope. I uh, don't get it. Two damage. So this rat ogre has one wound left. Stormbringer are going to attack the Judicators. They need fours to hit with their rusty halberds. They've got 19 attacks. Those threes. I need threes to wound. And then there is six at a negative one rat. All right, six. Uh, five ups. Uh, nope, that's going to be the unit. Mm. Radogers are going to attack the lone sequidor. I'm needing fours <laughs> to hit, sixes do. Uh, so I'm going to get an extra three hits. So yeah, yeah. I'm going to not be confusing with this. I'm just going to take all the misses and then I will add in three more hits. Maybe up. Yep, so that is uh, threes to wound. And there's four at a negative one rend. All right, that's four five ups, re rolling ones. Uh, no, he's super dead. <laughs> Turned into lightning pulp. <laughs> Here goes another battle shock test for the storm vermin. Uh, they still have ten, so there's still bravery seven. So, plus the two that I lost, I will just make it with a five. Yep. Uh, end of your turn, you still control that objective. I do. So you have it until it's taken from you, so I have that objective, and uh, that is it. So I'm at seven and seven? Yeah, is that, that is right? tied right now. All right. Uh, and now we're going to go into battle round three. Dun, dun, dun. All right, turn three, ye old wooden dice roll off. I'm going to break ties here. I got a five. I got a five. Ah, you get to choose what you're going to do. Hmm. Uh, I mean, you'll be you'll be sacking one of my objectives, but uh, I will I will choose to go next. Okay, so I'm gonna choose. Let's choose that middle one right there. Sure. Just to make their lives feel a little more pointless. <laughs> than that already was. <laughs> All right, what are we doing? Going right into movement phase. Actually, uh, first we're just gonna move the storm fiends. So they're gonna go 11. They need to take. This objective. Let's take mm -hmm. some damage. We'll bring them around. Ooh, and everybody else. There's there's still these these juicy guys here. So uh, I'm going to move the warlord here. Yeah, make him go the Super six. Saiyan. <laughs> he wants to go Super Saiyan. Uh, the storm vermin. They will also move six. Yep. And everyone else is going to run. So the clan rats, they are going to go... Head waste! Uh, do they get plus one for running for the bell? I don't know. Probably, get something like that. Probably doesn't matter. I'm going to go ten. Cool. A little bit less than ten. Uh, rattling gun, same thing. Do they the, will go twelve. Doing they, the they truffle shovel with their truffle. huge cannon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he will do the same thing. He's going eleven. His one wound with their two wounds with their two wounds. This <laughs> rattling gun uh, having a harder time keeping up. Uh, those rat ogres, though. Six plus, yeah. Oh my There's, gosh. Nothing can slow down these rat ogres. I love there. it. Okay. So Let's now, see how just how broken evocators are. <laughs> can they take on a whole Skaven army? <laughs> I'm going to charge with the storm vermin first. Yeah. Seven brings, makes it, brings yeah. some in here, um, which is enough to then take a lightning blast to the face, but <laughs> you know what, let's, let's do it. Let's, let's get in here. All right. Now the warlord needs a pretty epic charge here. It's a, a six is, is definitely not pretty epic. Do I want to, you know, he's I really mean, cool. I want yeah, the Yeah, come on. The no! Oh, okay, well, he, sad. he sits this one out. Uh, okay. I guess we'll go into combat. Ba -ba. Storm vermin have been selected to yeah, pilot yeah. an attack. I have six of them now, so then adding the claw leader. 
13 attacks. Skaven can't go wrong with that number, right? I mean, four did with the rusty halberds. Well, maybe they can. Uh, <laughs> uh, three's the wound. Uh, I've got four with the negative one rend. All right, so that's going to be can I, four can I, five ups. Yeah. Uh, don't make a single one. So you're going to kill one bro and put oh. a wound on another. Boop. There you go. Evocators fighting back. Uh, we have, I'm going to move this down here so we don't get confused. But uh, we have threes to hit. That was that was pretty darn good. Whoa, that was tasty. Uh, we have threes I didn't see that one. <laughs> to wound. A little not quite as good. Uh, but give me five saves at minus one. Well, I don't know if the storm have the storm ever made a save yet this game. Not I, many. I don't know. <laughs> well, they've got five ups. Right now they've made at least two, but uh, three more are going to bite the dirt. Oh. All right, and, and now, now, yeah, the, we're gonna the, jellyfish the, blast you. <laughs> uh, so any four ups on these? There's mm-hmm. four guys remaining. Eight dice total. Four ups are maroon, so that's gonna be four. Oh, uh, well, one, two, three. Oh, uh, yeah, wait, you were the call leader. Or, you're, you guys are dead. You guys are dead. <laughs> I was like, wait, this is confusing. Okay. Um, well, now, battle shock phase. We can just... I've lost uh, seven. So, I'm bravery five. <laughs> seven plus a five. So, it's a, a, a 12. So, I'm going to lose seven more. So, one, two, three, four, five. Oh. That's that, the unit. That's all of them. <laughs> and uh, they're like... Nah, and they, <laughs> they, they ran away. So end of the Skaven Tide, turn three. I still control these two objectives, and I added that one, So, uh, and I still control that as well. So I'm getting four, I'm going up to 11, and now it is Stormcast turn three. They are going to do, uh, well, let's see. So if I moved five, oh, they're not going to do speed lightning, they're going to do empower, so re-roll Ooh, failed yeah, rules. Yeah. Also needs a five. Just barely gets it. You can try to unbind. I'm going to try and unbind with the Arch Warlock. Hey! Get it. Shuts it down. All right. So then we're going to jump straight into movement. And basically they have enough movement to go just outside of three. Beautiful. We can go right into charges. Too. Yeah, we are. <laughs> Hitcha! Five. Yeah. It's plenty to get. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Run in. <gasps> The thing is, if you kill everything here, you're definitely going to capture this objective. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we'll figure out where attacks are going. And now that we're in the combat phase, <gasps> the, <laughs> the Skaven Deathmaster gets to pop up. And, yeah. Oh, and uh, also, Warlord's going Super Saiyan in the event that he survives. So, yeah. so these two indicators here, these two into him. So cool. we'll start with the two going the clan rats here. Mm-hmm. These are going to be uh, threes to hit. Uh, re-rolling ones, because they are yeah, Celestial yeah. Vindicators who charged. Nice. Boop. And threes to wound. No re-rolls because... Grunty Jerk. Okay, <laughs> so we have... I'm just kidding, five. Because the one wound busted Arch Warlock. Yeah. Uh, it's negative one rent. Yep. Uh, and how many... One, two, four... Wait, sorry, five. I just barely have enough clan rats to get plus one to my save, so I'll get a six up. Okay, well, not anymore. <laughs> uh, so that's going to be five dead clan rats. Yep. And now against the, the Warlord. Yeah, and so for him, it is threes, re-rolling ones. Ooh, and he's got three wounds left. And when I meant Super Saiyan, that's his command trait that I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> so people <laughs> are like, wait. He gets bonus attacks. That's, that's uh, threes to wounds so to take three at a minus one. Ooh, I've got a four-up save. i got to make one of these to live. Which I uh, don't, uh, so... Uh, oops. Wait, and you, just, you make one of them? Oh, well, I've got a four-up save. You're negative one, right? Oh, I see. Yeah, I see. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, sorry, Warlord, you you don't get to play. And just to be fun, we're <laughs> going to put all the lightning blasts into the Death Master. Surprise, what? So uh, there's five four-ups. He's dead. One, two, three, four. No. Oh. <laughs> what a <laughs> jerk. He, he lives with... <laughs> I just kind of like the idea of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, he regrets popping up in this unit, but... uh. Now he's pissed. Deathmaster fighting back with his weeping blades. He needs threes to hit. Got three attacks. I've got two. He needs a three to wound. And there's two. Negative one rent. 
Okay, five ups. Uh, make, make one, one fail one. one. And it's D3 damage for three. Oh, gosh. Oh, assassinate. Oh, that's going to kill one guy because there was a wound on yeah. him and then put a wound on another. Okay. Um, so now clan rats. These are clan rats with spears, so I'll definitely be able to get them in. <laughs> yep. Right, right. Uh, so I've got... Oh, five, six attacks after the claw leader. <laughs> um, and they're, with spears, they're hitting on fives. Okay. What? <laughs> that, uh... All right, right, yeah. I was like, <laughs> okay, now they're wounding on fours. There There's it is. two, no rent. Uh, okay, uh, four ups. Uh, make one okay. fail one, so... Okay. Two wounds. Okay. All right. Um, now... <laughs> Battle shock. Yep. He well, runs away because he broke coherency. Oh, sure. And the clan rats have lost five. Uh, they're going to lose three more. So I guess we'll go one, two, three. Um, and keep contesting this yeah, objective. Yeah, you have it until I take Two it, so clan you're good. Rats. All right. And uh, that's going to be the end of... Turn three? Yeah, or a battle round three, too. Yep, yeah. So potentially moving into battle round four, we've seen the uh, the evocators are, are fighting nobly. <laughs> if they if Doug goes next, um, I will throw away this objective, uh, which then they would have to retreat over there to try and get a, a point. If I go next, um, even though a lot of my stuff is taking a lot of damage, I'm going to try and bring the heat down in here. So yeah, I yeah. think right now, since it's eleven to seven. We're going to call this game, Doug. Thank very you very good. much. Yep, yep. We're going to go ahead and talk about that in Realm Talk. It's time for <laughs> Realm Talk. Um, we we kind of mentioned a few things already off camera. We, we both yep. kind of agreed. Uh, we both felt in the same <laughs> game uh, maybe a little bad about our army just mm-hmm. being vicious and nasty, <laughs> but like... Tell me, I mean, so like that that first turn. Tell me about how you were feeling because I was I was like laughing, but also just like, oh, this this might be over. <laughs> yeah. So like, we always hate when we watch games that are so one sided. And so like, when I got all six objectives and brought the comet down, <laughs> it was just like, I mean, the only thing that didn't go right for me was the evocator charge. Right. But um, I was like, oh, that's acceptable. At least right. makes him make a tough choice. Mm-hmm. But. Uh, which is funny because if you if you would have made that charge, you absolutely would have won. But yeah, that was interesting. Yeah. That was like maybe the deciding point. It maybe. actually really was because then the ballista and the judicators on the left side would have been able to hold those objectives, mm-hmm. and it would have been. I mean, it still have been rough because your turn That's one true. where you took out the Arcanum. Lord Arcanum. That's huge. I made stupid charge <laughs> rolls. It was like, well, I'll just set up Rat Ogres and maybe charge... And, like, Rat Ogres go in nine inches, and they kill that guy. Yep. Uh, I, I do want to... Okay, well, I do want to point out, too, so it's like... Me killing that guy with Rat Ogres... I know they're not the same model, but, mm-hmm. like... I've also charged, in one of our other videos, Morgas Archive with an extra attack and rerolls from... Uh, having Nagash on the board mm-hmm. into a Lord Aquilor and done nothing. So this yeah. is like in my head I was like, I wonder if this, like if I do make it in, are they going to do the same thing and just be like <laughs> and then, no, zero, zero damage but no, they uh, they made that charge and then next turn it's like, well now they're kind of in a, a, a tough spot because that was so cool that you can just get rid of the objective, you peel yeah. that off and then Rat Ogre's like, well we'll charge ten inches, like this yeah, Storm Fiends charge in nine inches which, um. <laughs> Yeah, so the game, totally about anyway. the game was super savage. Like, <laughs> I had a really great first turn, and then you had a great every other turn. Yeah. <laughs> but um, one thing I want to say is that this mission from Forbidden Power is actually one of my new favorites. Some of the new stuff yeah, they've come really out cool. with, they have one in the White Dwarf I talked about on my channel, and then this, super fun, because going second matters more than any endless spell mm-hmm. ever. Absolutely. Like <laughs> so, this, I mean, okay. then you saw, you know... Up until you know the end, the points that were. I mean, so you you got six right away. Mm-hmm. Then I got uh, three back. Then you went up to seven. That like the points were really close for a while. So yeah, like if this was a more even game, as far as that both of our armies weren't like super killing, <laughs> <laughs> um, then yeah, that that really would have mattered about figuring out you know Odu. 
do I, do I really want to take not even just the double turn, but even just the next turn? Yeah, you know, that's it's just putting a lot of pressure on that decision. Yeah, and it, um, it, it might not have looked like it mattered too much in this game because Brent kept making these long bomb charges. Yeah. Like, <laughs> but for the Rat Ogres in the far corner, if they didn't make that long bomb charge over to the next objective where the Ballista was, again, the whole point was I took away that objective, so they would have been sitting out in the corner doing mm -hmm. nothing, exactly like my evocators were doing. Right. 200 <laughs> points sitting there, yep. zero points, sad, stupid. So, yeah, no, and so that's that's a cool dynamic. I like, I like it quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm really glad, Doug, that you came out to, to play. Um, I know we haven't, I mean, you and I haven't done a video on the channel since Path to Glory. I know. So, and we, like forever, we've just been like, we, we should we should do a video. Beard's but, gone well. <laughs> Beard's gone <laughs> So now Doug has this uh, awesome painted Stormcast army yep. um, that you can see uh, when it goes first has horrifying teeth. Also, just as we, we, we kind of mentioned, too, Things that we learned. I thought the comet had to roll to do like on a five up, you take D three mortal wounds. Like mm -hmm. no, if you're just rolling to see how many mortal wounds. It's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then actually, it was probably really dumb of me then to uh, to dispel it because had the Lord uh, was it Lord Arcanum yeah. not died, uh, then you could have just done it again. Yep. Um, so. Thank you, Rat Ogres, who, like I said, can can roll obscenely uh, long charges to make up for all of my poor decisions. Mm -hmm. um, but then you also talked about, you were like, wow, rattling guns are not... Yeah, so I mean, I, <laughs> nice. I also, when I play Skaven, I have some Scryer stuff. I've never seen anyone have enough of the weapon teams, because, like, they're expensive and they're metal. And, mm -hmm. But um, I've never seen the Gatling cannons in particular do that much. That was insanity. Mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah, extra damage, the rerolls. Oh my gosh! Yeah, it's uh, if I did that wrong, please let me know. I'm, people will let me know, but I was pretty certain that I was like, okay, this is this is what you do with rattling guns, right? Okay. Yeah, we yeah, checked it. I mean, I think I think you definitely did it right. I just never I mean because nobody wants to buy the metal ones, and so that's the thing. Like people rather buy war I was like people who want to uh, <laughs> break the game. I think want. To. <laughs> Yeah, well, the problem is, like, you know, people... I also never blew them up, too, you know, like... Yeah, but then, what, are they two wounds each? They're three wounds each, but yeah, if you roll a double when you're doing the more and more warp lead, and then so I was just like... And they were all high not doubles, too. It was like, eight, ten, like, yeah. that was... I rolled stupid good with Rattle. I rolled basically... <laughs> exceptional. Yeah, yeah <laughs> exceptional all, all game, yeah. because, like, that first turn, that wasn't me rolling. That was me just, like, watching Doug kill. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it went really well. Yeah, so that was fun. Hope you enjoyed that game. And uh, we'll definitely do more games with Doug 2 Plus Tough in the future. Yeah. Sweet.